Hello everyone, this is Tyler coming to you from THJ Coffee. Today I will discuss the effects of alcohol versus caffeine. And um, as we know, both of these substances are consumed by millions, if not billions of people worldwide. So this topic very much pertains to, to many of us. Okay, recently researchers at John Hopkins University found that Caffeine and, and controlled dosages um, could enhance memory functions of adults. Um, and this um, extends to after 24 hours once caffeine was taken. Now, Harvard researchers also found a similar statistic that um, it improved memory function um, and memory function over the course of time and also acted as a great mitigator against Parkinson's type 2 diabetes and colon disease, two or three very common diseases in America today. Um, now, even though caffeine is, um, isn't registered as a um, harmful substance by most people, it is noteworthy that the NCAA actually has a limit of 500 milligrams for uh, their athletes. So what this means if an athlete um, the, and the NCAA is the leading university association for uh, sports in America. If an athlete tested over 500 milligrams um, in a drug test, this would actually be a um, th this would be a negative for them. So, okay. Um, in other studies, um, scientists found uh, that caffeine and, and controlled dosages um, can increase energy. And brain function. Um, it decreases physical and mental fatigue, which is precisely why many runners and endurance athletes, rowers, skiers, um, usually consume some, some caffeine before uh, races. Um, it increases um, like alertness and, and wakefulness, um, which is great for people who are like um, truck drivers or other kind of jobs where they have to stay up late night and to early morning hours, or even people who work during um, the whole morning. And it increases like problem solving and, and reasoning skills and just overall memory capabilities. It's um, for, for this reason, it's very popular for both university and professionals to, to consume some caffeine in the mornings. So the bottom line is, is that caffeine 100% increases productivity um, with, with very little uh, detriment to health. Okay, now alcohol. Alcohol, is this a productivity killer or an enhancer? Okay, alcohol is classified as a depressant, which means that it slows down our central nervous system and causes delayed brain function. And it also causes a reduction time in information processing skills and judgment and reaction time which, um, depending on circumstance, could be both harmful or even deadly. If someone is operating a vehicle, for instance, in most countries, alcohol is absolutely banned. In um, countries like the United States, they have um, what's known as DUI laws. And if one test is over a certain alcohol percentage, um, you'll automatically lose your license. In other countries, it's 0%. So generally, in in um, vehicle situations, it's um, totally prohibited. Now, if alcohol is um, is being taken in in small dosages, there have been studies that show that it can actually increase creativity. There was a recent study conducted by Harvard, and they took 18 of the leading creative directors in in the industry, and basically they um, they had them um, in teams. One team, um, or one side, half of them consumed alcohol and the other half did not. Now, of the teams that finished the best um, in the project, four of the five teams were actually um, the test group that took some alcohol or um, consumed some alcohol before the experiment was conducted. So um, when it comes to alcohol, having a drink or two when in a um, creative process can absolutely 
um, increased output. Um, but while drinking too heavily can decrease processing skills, decrease output, and um, will definitely fog up judgment. Now, when you put alcohol and caffeine together, there is one situation where both of them are harmful, and that's, um, or both of them are counterproductive, and that's when it comes to sleep. Um, both alcohol and caffeine have been shown in studies to um, reduce sleep time and to um, take away from, from the quality that people get. So from a productivity standpoint, sleep deprivation is one thing that um, that's a situation where someone would, would want to avoid both these substances. And um, obviously, too, lack of sleep will inhibit memory skills and concentration focus. So um, it could actually be, um, it, even caffeine could hurt more than, than help in this context. So bottom line of, of this video is that drink moderate amounts of caffeine to, inher to enhance output, drink moderate amounts of alcohol to increase creativity, but make sure that you still get sufficient rest. Thank you.